Okay, guys, we are back. I am on the third Colossus now. I believe his name is Gaius. This is where the game gets a little bit more difficult. Um, I actually saw a Let's Play, one of the top Let's Plays. It was really funny. Um, guy was playing on hard mode. He actually died three times in the beginning to sword hits from this guy. I think his name, yeah, his guy in the video, I think his name's Mal or Lamb or Lack or something like that. Sorry, I will look it up in a second. Um, but he was playing, he died three times uh, to this Colossus. And the guy's got, I mean, this, the person playing has a point. He's a, he's a pretty difficult Colossus, especially to kind of get to do what you want, which we're going to get more into that on the fourth Colossus, which in my opinion is a complete pain in the ass to try and, try and do what you need to do. Um, but yeah, this, this Colossus uh, requires a little bit more thought than I'd say the first two do. Um, but yeah, this path right here should lead me right to him. I actually usually get lost trying to find my way to him, but this goes directly to the Colossus. Um, and it is a canopy soaring to the heavens, what Dorman told me in the cutscene. Sorry, I wasn't able to show that cutscene. Yeah. Kind of forgot about that. Um, but he said that a canopy soaring in the heavens is where your next battle will be, essentially. And right now, it's just kind of a, if you look, it's a platform on a lake. Coming up on it, here we go. Stay here. Ugh. Cheer me on. As you can tell, probably, um, I haven't picked up any fruit. I haven't picked up any lizards. That may or may not change. I'm not sure. I'm not one of those people who want the hardest challenge. Um, I will say, like I said, I played through the time attacks, and that is a that is a pretty big challenge. And I have played through a lot of other games that are difficult. I'm just not one of those people who... In, okay, those kind of people were in Zelda. They beat the boss and they don't pick up the heart container. I'm not one of those people. Never been a huge fan of uh, actively trying to make a game more difficult when the game's trying to at least give me a little, little help. But hey, that's what the real men are for. Let's see. You know what? On the next video, maybe not. Maybe not. One of the, uh, yeah, yeah. We'll say the next video. Enough stuttering. Um, next video we'll do a face cam because I just absolutely hate the next boss. This guy's fine. I can get past him. I can understand why you have to do the things you have to do, but uh, the fourth guy is one of my least favorite just because of the process you have to go through in order to take him down. But yeah, let's do it. Let's get this guy. Get this bastard. He's sleeping right now. Wakey, wakey. There we go. I will say, this guy, in terms of coolness, he's, he's easily one of my favorites. He's got a, he's got a sword for an arm, so that's that's in the right direction of coolness, I'd say. I like the bird guy a lot. He's coming up soon too. too. Uh, final boss is okay. I like the second to final boss. I like the second smaller enemy, second smaller colossus. Oh boy, he's swinging the sword. Alright. 
this back out. It should, most of the time, this guy is fairly easy to set up. You just get him to walk over there, shoot a couple arrows at him, and he should be swinging his sword here. Unfortunately, it doesn't, okay, it did work that way this time. The problem with that other playthrough that I saw was he was walking to the sides, and he was standing very close to that center dot. You actually don't need to do that. You just need to get him to start swinging at you. Once he does that, you kind of just step further away, but in line with that circular object, and you should be fine. Oh, uh-oh. There we go, that was my thing. Oh, I almost launched myself there. Definitely don't want to do that. Okay. Up. Whoa, whoa. Over here. Energy back. Alright, full energy. First weak spot, the head. The easiest of the bunch. Actually, can be kind of pain in the ass. But, we'll see. Did not want to do that. Drop, drop down. About something else. Whoa. All right. In business. First stab. Second stab. Got some good momentum going here. He's gonna move his head very soon. Yeah, there we go. actually a pretty good strategy the first time. Stab him. Get him concerned about his shoulder. It even does a little bit of damage, which is nice. And then get to his head. Allow you to get a few stabs in there. Or or one. Okay, guys. You, sir. I'm not going to bully us anymore. Oh, that was nothing. I, don't even, I didn't even realize I was charging that. There we go. That's a fully charge. I think that should be it for the head. Or soon. Near fully for the head. Oh, oh. back. Yeah, it looks like we have a little bit more to do on the head. And that should do it, probably. I hope. Yep. Oh, this damn sliver of health. That was ridiculous. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, we're getting style points with those downward stabs. Believe me, you. Okay. All right. This is the one that I actually probably hit the most because he just flops around like a damn retard when he's on his stomach. I have no idea why. Maybe we got better footing on, on it this time. There are sweet spots that you can that you can find. Oh, that is just an absolute heartbreak when crap like that happens. Get too greedy that time. Another? Oh. I think after every hit, honestly, it's just best to get more, to get another footing. Ah! Oh. 
Uh, no. It's just when you go sideways, when you, re like, when you reorient yourself, and then you're sideways on them. There we go. Get that meter back. Meter, meter, meter. It really is just a tedious freaking process with this guy. I think that should be it. I hope that God, that's it. Thank you. And then the other one is behind one of his arms. I can't do much moving around. Flailing right now. Okay, right there. Whoa, whoa. Okay. The real problem with this is once you're out there, you just have to get the hits in. Like, that's. You can't get too greedy. Because then you're just going to waste energy that way. Have. Good. Okay, alright, we're gonna need to make this one count. No. Oh. Had a good rhythm going there for a second. Oh. Right, he's flailing around now. I won't be able to do it here. Let's see. Oh, wow, that was lucky. And since I was properly aligned with the uh, little. I don't know what you call his belt. Glasses wear belts, apparently. Oh, dude, four strength, four stam, leather belt. Ah, uh, level 18. Uh, uh. There we go. I was lucky again. A lot of this, a lot of this is skill, but I will say there is a fair amount of luck that goes into this game. Glass, I'm moving at the right times. All right, let's end this sucker. Let's end this guy. Just a punk. Slow mo. I usually try to jump off the side so those black tendrils don't catch me. Oh, there you go. I actually fell off in the cutscene. You guys could probably see that. Hopefully, I didn't die from that. That would not. He's not getting up. Okay, thank God. That would be bad, bad. What? Yeah! <laughs> I know, I got the hot! Okay. Not bad, actually. Started the video at the, uh, the little castle area. Finished it. Killed the guy all within like 12 and a half minutes. That is not a bad run whatsoever. All right. Just another hero saying, see you next time, guys.